I've got a term for this. I call it ideological narcissism. Case in point is Al Gore, and he made a prediction back in 2008 to a German audience that the polar ice caps would melt due to what they used to call global warming, and then they figured out the climate's not necessarily warming that much, and so they changed it to climate change. That way, it's all inclusive, and you know leftists, they like to be inclusive, unless they're not being inclusive. So, he's back. Al Gore, he's got another prediction, and this time he is somehow paired to crisis, to an invented crisis. Now, the climate change crisis is, uh, the man-made climate change crisis is not a true crisis because the climate change has always been changing. Ever since there's been a climate, there's been climate change. And to say that humans somehow can affect climate significantly is just not true. I mean, you'd have to explain why the um, Obamas bought this multi-million dollar estate on the Atlantic Ocean if they truly honestly believe that global warming is going to cause the oceans to rise. They don't believe this. They know better. They know it's a hoax. They know it's nonsense. It's just a way to fool people. So can humans affect the climate? I would say, well, can you affect the um, temperature of the ocean if you drop an ice cube in it? I mean, all the oceans on Earth, will you change the temperature if you drop an ice cube in the ocean? And the answer is, there is a tiny infinitesimal temperature change when you drop an ice cube in the ocean that is so tiny that it could never, ever be detected. But yeah, yeah, I guess you could say it does have an effect on it, does change it. So his um, latest uh, crisis, now, you know, the border crisis, some people would call that an invasion crisis, but the border crisis, Al Gore is now pairing that with the uh, climate change crisis, global warming change. Seems the only thing that's really changing are the things that they call these things. There could be as many as one billion climate refugees crossing international uh, borders. But uh, he says that one billion people are going to become refugees, playing on our fears again, because he knows that people fear this uh, constant invasion. So he's saying one billion refugees will be forced to move. Uh, ostensibly into our countries, I presume, Western countries, due to climate change. So a few conservative patriots, he didn't say this, but this is what I'm reading into, the dog whistle. A few patriots don't get on board with the climate change hoax. You know what's going to happen? You're going to be overrun with people from third world countries. Well, first of all, that's happening anyhow. So, you know, uh, changing the climate, even if we could, is it going to make any difference? But uh, this is a prediction. You know, what they like to do, as you can see here, is they like to make predictions based upon things that are happening anyhow. The climate is changing. It always has. And so they're making a prediction that the climate is going to change. It's kind of like saying the sun is going to set. Yeah, we know that. Uh, but we're not causing it. That's called magical thinking. You can look that up on the Internet sometime. Google it. It's a psychological term, magical thinking. You do a rain dance, it causes it to rain. And speaking of which, if you hear rain in the background, that's not a sound effect. That's actually rain falling on the uh, roof here. So they make predictions based upon something that is already happening. Then they blame whatever. So you see, I told you. And this is what they're doing with the, uh, the crisis at the border, the border crisis. What they're going to do is they say, they'll say in the future, well, we told you if you didn't do something about climate change that you would have this massive influx of aliens climbing over the border without uh, permission. We told you so. This is what they're going to say. Now, how do they, how do they explain the fact that uh, the, the um, polar ice caps didn't melt? And I actually heard someone say this. I heard it somewhere on YouTube. Somebody explained it. They said, you know, here's what happened is we stopped using aerosol spray cans. 
and that was uh, enough to save the climate. And so the the ice caps didn't melt because we stopped using aerosol cans. And they said that with a straight face. It wasn't a parody. I mean, they were serious or trying to be serious or trying to convince us they were serious. What we got to realize is when they keep doing this, you know, crying wolf is the expression. Eventually, there will be a real crisis and uh, somebody's going to say something and the response is going to be, no, we don't believe you. So uh, I would say that Al Gore, intelligent man that he is, is uh, causing us serious, serious problems. Even though I'm sure he's lining his pocket somehow, some way doing this, but he is, if nothing else, it's keeping him in the spotlight. But he is causing all humanity serious problems by keeping this nonsense afloat. And the only thing I could say to get them to shut up, and they're still not going to do it, but I can do my best, is I could say predicting climate change causes climate change. And maybe then they'll stop talking about it. Probably not. Thanks for stopping by. And if you got something out of this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? Share it on social media, but more importantly, if you'd subscribe to our channel, this is a brand new YouTube channel. Last I checked, we had fewer than 10 subscribers. Okay, we had fewer than five. I mean, we're brand new. You may be the only person watching this video. So if you would share this on social media, you know, Twitter, Facebook, one of those, it would help us a lot. Thanks for stopping by.